Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the difference between three types of EC2 instances on AWS, basically the basically the tenancy model of the EC2 instances. The first one being shared, second the dedicated instances, and third one is the dedicated host. So uh, very quickly, I would like to explain that for all of you. Uh, I've seen that people often remain confused uh, in understanding this. So uh, if you are trying to launch a new instance on Amazon, uh, this is how you will, uh, you know, different steps are there where you first go and choose an AMI, and then you can choose a particular instance type, and then say move forward. Now, this is where the important part is. As you can see, there are three tenancy models. First one is shared, which is the default model, and then we have dedicated instance, run a dedicated instance. Third one is dedicated host. Now, people understand mostly what uh, what is the shared tenancy model, but uh, people are confused in terms of dedicated instance and dedicated host. So let me try to help you, uh, you know, in order to understand what, what is the difference between them. So what you are seeing right now on the screen is a is a, is a typical example uh, as to how AWS is implementing uh, is implementing the EC2 instances. So think uh, your EC2 instances are are virtual machines which uh, you know, which sit on a physical box. Let's say we have a physical box and uh, for, you know for the sake of this example we are calling that physical box or that physical host as H101. Now uh, there is an instance sitting on that called I201, and based on the instance type, it occupies or uh, it occupies certain amount of CPU and RAM. Let's say four CPU, four virtual CPU, and eight GP RAM, and maybe some amount of instance storage as well. Okay. Now it is the work of hypervisor to ensure that the that the allocated CPU and RAM uh, remains uh, available to the uh, remains available to the particular uh, EC2 instance in a dedicated manner. Okay, now in the in the default model, which is the first model, shared tenancy. What happens is, on a physical host, the EC2 instances from different customers can come and actually uh, get hosted. Which means maybe this particular instance I201 is my instance. Okay, and maybe you are having another another AWS account, and you are also running an EC2 instance of the same type in the shared tenancy mode, that instance might be sitting here next to this, right? So like different instances from different customers share one physical host. That is the shared tenancy model. And it is also important to understand that what happens when you stop and start your EC2 instance and what happens when you reboot it. Now, when you stop and start your instance, right, the underlying host gets changed, meaning if I go ahead and stop this instance I201 and then start it again, it, it would go and, you know, after starting again, it will probably go and sit on some other physical host that might be, you know, something else. Let's say H105 with 106, something else, right? Whereas in case of reboot, you can think of uh, reboot as more of an OS level activity, OS type of restart where the underlying hardware does not change. It will remain here, okay? It will remain on the same physical host. I hope that is clear. Now, what happens in the case of dedicated instance and dedicated host? Let's say if I am launching the instance I201 in the dedicated instance mode, what happens is, say when I launched it, it is it got launched on a physical host called H105. In case in case of dedicated instance, AWS ensures that your instance is launched on a physical host where only your dedicated instances would run. What does that essentially, essentially mean? It means on this physical on this physical host H105, only your dedicated instances, meaning on the dedicated instances of a particular type from your AWS account only will run. Meaning I201 will be your dedicated instance. The second one and third one also would be only your dedicated instance no other instance from any other customer also 
any other instance which are of shared tenancy model from you cannot come and sit on this physical instance right but you have to remember still if you go ahead stop this particular instance and start it again it is perfectly possible that after the stop and start this gets launched on a, on a completely new physical host let's say h107 right that is possible but whatever we talked earlier that at any point in time when it is in the running mode on that particular physical host only your dedicated instances would be run right but the underlying hardware would change in case of stop and start compare it with the third type which is dedicated host now there is a small uh, difference or let's say uh, an advantage in case of dedicated host it is in in other manners it is similar to dedicated instances the only difference here is when you launch a dedicated uh, you know an ec2 instance in the dedicated host mode which is the third tenancy model you basically say that even after stop and start your ec2 instance will continue to run on the same physical host right so you are basically saying my i201 will always be there on the physical host h101 and that will ensure or that will help you in in reusing any of your existing licenses which are uh, which are uh, you know cpu bound or which are basically hardware bound licenses you can go ahead and make use of those licenses on these ec2 instances because in the other model where the underlying hardware changes uh, that type of licensing model would not work right uh, some of the sql server versions and some other softwares software actually follow that particular policy so you can make use of uh, you, know, you can in case you are using a software which makes use of hardware bound licenses you can make use of dedicated host and ensure that your instance always remains on one physical host and you can make use of your uh, of your existing licenses in that case it is important to understand in case of dedicated host uh, because you are blocking the full host right so the the billing is going to be there uh, for the, for the for the full physical host right let's say i go ahead and uh, and uh, uh, you know and i'm blocking a box of m4 type that means i will be paying all the time for the complete box of m4 type right it 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 depend, you know it is up to me whether i am utilizing it completely or not anyway i am i am i have uh, i have blocked this full physical instance now whether i am running four ec2 instances in that or three that is up to me but i have blocked the full physical host which means i need to keep paying for that completely you can always go and compare the pricing for uh, shared dedicated instances and dedicated host dedicated host is going to be the costliest one uh, i hope uh, that makes it clear that what is the difference between the three instance types if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section uh i'll be happy to reply if you like this thing please go ahead share and subscribe to the channel to keep yourself updated thank you bye bye